Canes will kick it off to get us underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Purdue Boilermakers offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Didn't take long to need a clutch play on the opening drive. It's third and seven. From the gun, wants to pass. Pulls it in. It's Mack. And he was knocked down immediately short of the line to game. They'll have to make a decision here. The Boilermakers will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He gets a block. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. First down here for the offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. The gift to the back. Turns it on at midfield. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Hurricane. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed, look at the elusiveness, get into the end zone. Nice run. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. That drive took no time at all. A couple of plays and finished it with a long run for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. about to snap it on second down. And off to Jones. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Boilermakers send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Booker. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything... Just steamrolling the defense. 
Manhattan. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. Used the play fake, now to throw. And he's got it! Touchdown, Kings! Well, the defense is going to have to find an answer for this tight end down in the end zone. You cannot allow that guy that much space. point makes it 14 nothing. Well, they didn't exactly milk the clock on that drive, did they? Two plays and into the end zone for the touchdown. Just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Powers through the defender. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. We make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Right back to the well. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. The Boilermakers will send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. On the move, it's Booker. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Final seconds of the first half, and they'll try to put up three. And they'll kick it from the left side, a 44-yard try. Absolute shame. Missed the goal. Missed the field goal, but still a two-touchdown lead at 14. And the Boilermakers will line up to kick off and start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They open this third quarter on top, and they built the lead on the strength of that running game. And they made a huge statement, too, just proving to the other team that they're more physical, they're winning in the trenches. So here in the second half, David, just keep demoralizing this defense by pounding the football. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to let that happen. I, I riled up my guys at halftime. We're going to put more people in the box, and they, we got to come out and meet the physical challenge of this offense. Bulldozes it. Brought down at the 47-yard line after the 15-yard pickup. In halftime in this locker room, there's a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. And that's another productive run. This offense has had a bunch of them today, and the running back, I think this lead was built on this guy. He's done a great job all game long. A shot for the end zone. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. 
the offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And, and they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good, really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision. He's got to be dialed in because defensively, you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of the defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quick. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. Trying to pick up a first down. Wants to throw on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. Getting some heat. And they got him. A sack denies the try to convert on fourth down. Offensively, this is a beautiful time now because now I get to get all my other guys in the game. Guys that don't get to play that much, we're up. This game's over after that missed fourth down conversion. Now, to get everybody in the ball game, or if you choose, uh, Jesse probably would, to go pad some stats and get some more catches, get some more rush yards. Got enough space. Touchdown, Hurricane. And the stomping has commenced. And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown for the running back. The offensive line paid the balls. Continue to feed this man the ball. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That's exactly what you want to do when you have that type of field position. Strike quickly, and they did. One play, and they put it on the board. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players, so if you're on the... And that's a live ball behind the line. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. This Hurricane defense has been an impenetrable wall all day, not moving an inch against these guys. And it's a complete effort, Reese. It's the front. It's the defensive line owning the work up front. It's the linebackers running. It's the secondary all working together, reminiscent of the 2001 Miami defense. And the ball is picked off. Looking for more room. He's at the 10. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, K. You didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. 
And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joe's, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent. Team. And, and as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today, they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it move on for the next game. Maybe something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe... And the ball is intercepted. Got to run to run. Touchdown Miami! The defense puts six on the board with a big time interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out of wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positive. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we had just ran the details to the right route and hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, you're talking about. Got it in the middle. It's Mac. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Well, this offense has not put their best product on the field today. They've got no points to show for any of their efforts so far, but they've still got a chance. But if it's going to happen, it has to happen now in this two-minute situation. This is where their playmakers need to step up hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver second and ten here he's looking to throw he's taking a deep shot late in the game what a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about first down for the offense The Boilermakers with the first and ten. He's going to pass. Snagged in the middle. It's right. They make the stop and the clock strikes zero, and that will do it for this one. This is what an elite team does. They know they're better. They go out. They take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good in every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask your guys to do better i think the challenge now for this team is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution well jesse it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your beauty like when you look that good coming off the bus those dudes are good this is a great team and they proved it just domination from start to finish that's going to do it for us for jesse palmer david pollock our entire broadcast team i'm reese davis this has been another presentation of ea sports college football